Namaste, Namaskaram, Vanakam, Namo, Namaha, Jai Ganesha. Please visit our website at classicalyoga.org and there is a donate button if you would like to help us out. And please stand up for the Hindu, yoga, religious, spiritual, scientific, philosophical lifestyle. Today's podcast, cover up, but don't cover up. Shadanam versus surrender. Yesterday we did a podcast, Hindus Got Game, as an acronym. And this was subsequent to the podcast on Param Dharma, or the Hindu Super Bowl. This came right at the Super Bowl Sunday in the West. So please review those to put those in context with today's podcast. But if we look at game as an acronym, as Hindus we need to ask ourselves, do we have game? Do we have Ganapati? Om Mantra Ekanantaya which is Ganesha's form with one tusk representing humility. And remember, humility is wisdom, and it's the antithesis of being humiliated. Are we lame? Do we let Om Mantra evaporate? Hmm. Do we take refuge in the Dharma, in our Devatas, Sharanam, or do we surrender? In other words, do we have game? Do we keep Ganapati Om? Do we chant our mantras, which help to calm the mind? Mananatrayate iti mantraha. And do we proceed with a sense of wisdom, humility? Being that youthful, loving warrior? Or are we lame? Do we let Om and mantra, etc., 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 completely evaporate, disappear? Is this not what happens when we don't cover something up? It evaporates. Take, for example, a a cup of water. Of course, depending upon the humidity conditions, in about a week it will evaporate. Think of how Hindus have not stood up for the Dharma for centuries. How we have simply let go Let the dharma evaporate. We have to ask ourselves some serious questions. Why are Ayurveda chakras kundalini a new age thing, but not Hindu? Why is karma just anything, but not Hindu? Why is a mantra any repetition, but not Hindu? Why is a pundit a politician, not a perohit? Why are Ari and swastika about an evil race? Why are they not about a holy place? Why is an original homeland now the troubled nation of Pakistan? Why do many make fun of the Bindu? Why are many afraid of the word Hindu? And why is a guru just anybody? Diet guru, fitness guru, Wall Street guru? Try that with Imam one time, see how far you get. And why or why is yoga an exercise for money? And the Hindus are not even given credit for the numerals and especially zeros, unya. We Hindus need to look into the mirror, for if we continue to capitulate or surrender, the Dharma will continue to deteriorate. Throughout the ages, there have been more than a few people willing to destroy the Hindu religion, Hindu Dharma. And if we let it go, it simply evaporates or dries out. Dead religion? Yes. D-R-Y. Destroy religion? Yes. That has been the motive of many. If we don't cover up, it dries out. It evaporates. So we need to cover up the Dharma, protect the Dharma, so that it remains fluid. This is the very meaning of Saraswati, to have flow. We say Sharanam, we sing Sharanam Ganesha. We take refuge in Mahaganapati. We take refuge in the Hindu Yoga Dharma. This is the antithesis of surrender. Remember the acronym Hindus suffer from gas? This was a paper written by 
Indian Hindu author O.P. Gupta stating that his fellow Hindus suffered from genetically acquired slavery syndrome. But we could add in there genetically acquired surrender syndrome or genetically acquired selfish syndrome. We unfortunately hold on to God and Lord and monotheism and caste and the mistaken notion of swastika. And we let go all of our sacred teachings and practices, the classical yogas that are Hindu dharma. Many deny they are Hindus. This is the wrong kind of cover-up, which is defined as an attempt to prevent people from discovering the truth. Why do we do this? The very meaning of Veda is a thirst to know knowledge. Interestingly, that's the very definition of the word science, to know. As we are seeking to know, do people know that in the Hindu yogic science so rare, Satchit Ananda is E equals MC square. Ganapati Murga Shiva Shakti Om is gravity, electricity, magnetism, nuclear home. And this works for the other two Sampradayas as well. Tamas, Rajas, Sattva, Guna attributes. Later, Newton's laws of motion, very astute. Parinamaha, Yoga Sutras, is evolution, you know. Darwin was not the first to know how we grow. Avatar, Avatar is really evolution's Spiraling star, Matsyata Buddha, and round we go, samsara. Arabic numerals, you say? Uh uh-uh. uh. The Hindus invented them, and the zero, hooray. For if it weren't for the binary system, you see, computers, cell phones, tablets, there would not be. And look at the modern guru, mantra, and yoga pretensions. These are all actually Hindu inventions. Karma Bhakti Rajayani is Alderfer's ERG. And Work, Heat, Light, which was also Count Rumford's insight. Maslow's hierarchy of human needs was found in the Purush Arthas of Hindu psychology. In Sociology 101, we find Graves' seven levels of human aspiration. And in the seven chakras is a much deeper explanation. And in a way, Hindus understood DNA with the symbolism of the intertwining snakes, Nagdevata, Idda Pingala Shushmana, a balanced life makes. To the monotheists, however, over the serpent make a fuss. But remember, all you physicians, regardless of religion, you wear the caduceus. The discovery of the atom, in a sense, wasn't new. It was found in Hindu philosophy, Vaisesika, Paramanu. And even Robert Oppenheimer in Los Alamos, he was quoting the Gita as the bomb explodes, if the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst into the sky, it would perhaps be like the splendor of the Atmana. Divya Surya Sahasrasya Baba Yugaparutita Yari Baba Sadrishi Sasyad Basyastasya Ma Atmana. Chandra Shekhar, Dr. Subramanyam. Hmm. He uncovered the star's death, you see. Enter the black hole full but seems empty. All of this outer show can be found within the lingam, you know, and Makali, dark energy and all the rest. So very difficult to express, but zero to many, Vitarka Mudra, is closer to reality, hence the Sanskrit, Tamil, Hindu, neuter term, 
Brahman for the Big Bang, you see. Monotheism can be rather crude indeed, rather monistic polymorphism, dharmanupati dharmi. Father, father is only half the equation and completely denies those of the female persuasion, J. Mataji. Linear thinking, monotheism, of course once came to the conclusion that the earth was flat. But the Hindus knew it was round and moving. Jagat, what do you think about that? Hmm, the sun is round, the moon is round, the seasons go round, the days go round, our eyes are round. So too round is the Nabi and the Bindu. Wake up to your inner wisdom, Hindu. So, dear Hindus, now that you know, will you continue to let the Dharma go and evaporate? Don't be afraid and don't be shy and please don't hide. Show some concern and backbone for Hindu pride. For if we continue to capitulate rather than educate, the Dharma will continue to evaporate. Do we let Om Mantra evaporate, thus becoming lame? Or do we step up to the plate and have game? Do we respect Ganapati, Om, Mantra, Ekadantaya? Do we respect our gurus, ashrams, shastras, and sadhana, good gas? Or are we suffering from poisonous gas, genetically acquired, selfish, submissive, Syndrome. Let us with courage and love take refuge in the Dharma. And what does that mean? That means that we understand Tattva Masi, that we are the Atmana, the provable experience of Sat Chit Ananda, Jyoti Shakti Ananda Shanti. That we live this Hindu yoga, religious, spiritual, scientific, philosophical. Lifestyle of karma yoga, bhakti yoga, raja yoga, jnana yoga, hatha yoga, mantra yoga, japa yoga, nada yoga, nata yoga, kundalini yoga. And we respect our many devas and devis. And whether you look at them as beautiful works of art, which is elevating in and of itself, certainly you learn from the symbolism which you can incorporate into your life. And then one may or may not have a rather intimate inner connection with these spirit beings. Any one of these three is perfectly valid. So if we look at the symbolism of Maha Ganapati, his very form is teaching us, remember the saying that a picture is worth a thousand words, and we are symbolic creatures. We all have pictures, symbolism, that surround us. Hopefully it's meaningful to our lives. Looking at Mahaganapati, who is synonymous with the Om, in Mandukya Upanishad, Vaishvanara Tejasya Prajna, and the all-important no thingness in between, the Turiya state, the zero state. Remember, the Hindus invented the zero, without which we would not have the binary system. Life would not compute. Animal, human, divine. Look at Mahaganapati. This is the form of his and yours and mine. And look at his trunk, reminding us to be strong and flexible and sensitive. And then life is sweet, the laddu. We seek to be humble, which means wisdom. It's not humiliated, is one tusk. We seek to understand what to let go of, his gadha, and what to hold on to, his pasa. Seeking a life of contentment as opposed to being a malcontent, his big belly, santoshima. 
We listen to words of wisdom from without and within. Gajikanekaya, sunie. We keep one foot in the world, prakriti, the other foot into the spirit, purusha. And we see this divinity flowing through all things, even the little creatures, like little mushika. So with this solid foundation of Ganesha consciousness, just like the foundation that a rocket rests upon, we can now blast off, if you will, into inner space and safely return. So from Mahaganapati, the remover of obstacles, the gatekeeper, then we can go into inner realms of experience, into other devas and devis, perhaps, into inner states of consciousness, and then come safely back out again. A solid foundation of Ganesha consciousness, taking refuge in this wisdom, taking refuge, sharanam, in Ganapati, chanting the Om, using our mantras to calm the mind, which brings an inner wisdom of humility, got game, and no more lame. Walk proudly as a Hindu, pade, 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 step by step by step. Follow the Dharma, the San Marga. Realize your Hindu Yoga Dharma is a way. It's not the way for everybody. And it's not a universal way in the sense that it absorbs every other religion. It's a way. Be proud to be a Hindu. Karma Bhakti Raja Jnana. This is the way to Nirvana. Charye Kariye Yoga Manyanam Tamilan. This is the same as we just told you. Yama, niyama, asana, praniyama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi. How many times do we have to tell the all of yoga is sanatan dharma? This is Hinduism. Watch your karma kanda, upasana kanda, yana kanda, om, and say to yourself, I've got a dot on my head and it's really, really red. It's a bindu because I am a Hindu and I am proud to be a Hindu. What about you? And I do yoga because it is Hindu. Karma Bhakti Hatta is to. Rajgyana, it's all yoga, it's all Hindu, it's not boga, bogas. Play the game, Hindus. Stop being lame. Have a selfless love, not a selfish love. Look out in virtue and ethics, L O V E. This is Karma Bhakti Rajgyana. Negate selfish love by letting others violate everything. Stand up for the Hindu yoga, dharma, just like Ganesha is. Stand up, stand up for dharma. This ain't no yoga biz. Stop letting people make a business. Stop yourself from doing this out of our sacred Hindu yoga teachings and practices. Jai Maha Ganapati, Jai Hindu Yoga Dharma. Remember that Shanti or peace is only found through strength and justice. Om Shanti 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 Go play the game.